Amy. Um, yes, ma'am. Amy Butler with Aviation Week. I have a two-part question on the Joint Strike Fighter. First, um, with regard to the IOC, last year there was some discussion about when the Air Force's IOC could actually happen, in part because of the maintainer issue coming from the A-10. So I'm curious if you can give us your current thinking on when it is likely to be able to declare IOC and if you're looking at maybe changing the parameters for IOC or how you're going to achieve that. And then secondly, um, bigger picture with the Joint Strike Fighter, whenever you do IOC, whether it's 2016 or 17 or whenever, these jets are dribbling into the service. They're not going in at the rates you wanted. So this thing will not become wholly influential until years after you expect it. There's a lot of talk um, among the technology people that stealth at that level won't become obsolescent, but that it will be at a risk of compromise because of the proliferation of high frequency radars and integrated air defenses. So I'm wondering if you're looking at how to ad address that issue, and obviously that's not an issue for today, but you know, it's an issue probably five, ten years down the road. You want to I try this one, boss? Um, first of all, I, I, I believe that 35 IOC will be as scheduled between August and December of 2016. Uh, I've seen nothing that changes my opinion of that. Um, I'll, I'll tell you this, IOC is an important term because it's initial operational capability. It means that we will have the ability to deploy a number of aircraft to conduct operational activity should we desire to do so. FOC, to me, is the key date. That's when this airplane should be fully capable of doing the things that we put in our requirement set for it to do. Uh, so our, our development of capabilities that aren't available at IOC has been part of the plan the whole time. It's been the plan of every airplane we've ever bought as far as I know, at least recently. So you get the airplane, you have initial capability, you continue to develop the capability through new software upgrades, uh, ad thing, adjustments you find during initial operational test, and by the time you declare it fully operational capable, that means it now meets the requirement set that you define. That's the ultimate goal. And so that's where we're focused. I don't see anything that leads me to believe we're changing from those timelines. In fact, I'm fairly comfortable with where the F-35 stands today. Uh, none of the things that are coming out from the JPO, as far as concerns about software development, et cetera, are real surprises. This program has tracked pretty much along the milestone set in the rebase line in 2011. I won't talk about before that. But since then, it's tracked pretty consistently along the price curves uh, and, and all the milestone points since then. And, and we, sh we must continue to do that. The big challenge for us is operationalizing maintenance for the airplane, making sure the ALICE system is capable of supporting deployments, and that's what we're focused on right now. So. I feel pretty good about that, but remember for me the focus is capability at IOC, fully capable by FOC. Um, stealth is an interesting discussion because people tend to identify a piece of it and, and think someone will compromise that piece and therefore stealth's no longer valuable. The reality is that stealth is a combination of things. It's not just low observable, it's also speed, low observability, different ways of collecting data, different ways of transmitting and protecting transmissions. It, it is a way of breaking kill chains if you're sitting in an airplane or flying an unmanned air, aircraft. And while we may have a new radar developed that allows an acquisition radar to see an airplane, that doesn't mean it can pass the track off to, to a radar that will then guide a weapon to be able to destroy the airplane. As long as we break the kill chain sometime between when you arrive in the battle space and when the enemy weapon approaches your airplane, you're successful using stealth. And I don't see anything that indicates that is not going to be true 10 years from now. Okay, and just to make sure to clarify, General Bogdan had told the press back in December that the maintainer issue actually could be a showstopper. It, I want to make sure I'm clear. You don't think that the... I'm talking about the development of the aircraft. The maintainer issue is not an F-35 program issue. The maintainer issue is an Air Force problem. It is critical for IOC declaration, correct? And, we'll, and we will look at, every, well, you have to have enough to operate